Hi, my name is Mornay Fissin. I'm from the Protea Hotel Saldana Bay on the lovely west coast of the Western Cape. Today we'll be making two fairly easy dishes, however full of that west coast flavour. The first dish is Bloody Mary oysters and the second dish, smoked snook and smoked angel pate. For the tangy Bloody Mary oysters, you will need smoked sea salt, Tabasco and Worcester sauce, tomato juice, vodka, a dash of sherry, coriander leaves, deep fried baby capers and 12 oysters. To start off with, we're going to pour in the tomato juice. It's good to start off with the tomato juice as it is the base of the Bloody Mary. Next, we will be adding two shots of vodka. After that, a shot of sherry and then Worcester sauce and Tabasco sauce to taste. I prefer to use a lot of Tabasco sauce as it gives a lot more flavour. And now we mix. It's a good idea to add seasoning at this stage. Like I said, for that I'll be using Malden sea salt and some black pepper. And then whisk again. When that's done, you can get your oysters. I have a couple of oysters already open here earlier on. Then you get a spoon and spoon over a generous amount of the Bloody Mary mix over each oyster. I always have some extra left over and serve it on the platter for the guests to pour over themselves if they need more. For the garnish, we'll use some capers deep fried, just a little bit to give that extra bit of taste, and some fresh coriander leaves. And voila, Bloody Mary oysters with fresh oysters from Saldana Bay. Next we will be making the smoked snook and smoked angelfish pate. You'll need smoked angelfish and smoked snook, creme fraiche and cream cheese, as well as chives and half a lemon. SMS the keyword seafood to 33728 for the recipe. First we will take the smoked snook, make sure you take out all the bones and flake it. Pour that in the bowl. Next up the angel fish, apply the same, all the bones removed, make sure it's flaked. Next we put in some cream fish, a 200 gram type of cream cheese, some chopped chives, juice from half a lemon, and then some salt and pepper. Then mix everything together, making sure you crush the fish as you mix the cream cheese into it. If you've reached your desired consistency, that's the pate. You can either serve it with breadsticks or breads. I've decided to serve it with some breadsticks today. Now all you need to do is put some garnishes on there, a bit of lemon wedges, and some extra chives on top, and just for garnishing. There you have it, smoked snook and smoked angel fish pate served with breadsticks. Let's take another look. For zesty Bloody Mary oysters, use tomato juice, Worcester and Tabasco sauce. Whisk all the ingredients and serve with fried capers. For the angel fish and snook pate, use cream cheese and chives, mix it with a fish and lemon zest and it's ready to serve. Two tantalizing snacks for any dinner party.